In Oracle Analytics Cloud, you can register models and functions to use in data flows. In order to register and use these functions and models, we first need to create a connection to the underlying OCI resource that hosts those models and functions. To do this, we create a connection, and the type of connection that we create is a connection to an OCI resource. This connection type, you can, you can use either a user-specific API key, or you can use a resource principle in order to connect to the resource. So a resource principle is an OCI resource that has permissions granted through OCI policies in order to access other OCI resources and services. And in this case, the resource principle will be the OAC service instance itself. And this has been granted permission to use the Oracle OCI function service. So we choose resource principle and let's give this connection a name. And now we're putting in some coordinates for where the function that we're interested in calling is hosted. In this case, it's in our default region and it's in a compartment called OACPM. And we're gonna create this particular connection so that it only connects to the OCI function service. So now the connection is created. The next step is to register the function. So we go to register model and functions and we're interested in an OCI function. We choose the connection, so the resource principle connection that we just created, and then we choose the compartment that is hosting the function that we're interested in. This brings up a list of applications of, for this, that, that in turn host the individual functions. So we choose the application that is hosting our function, and then we choose the function itself, which in this case is a weather-based function that will take some location inputs and it will give us some weather-related information. So let's give this function a name and then register that inside our OAC. So the next step is to create a data flow that calls this function that in turn is using the resource base, the resource principle connection to connect to the function. We have some input data, some retail related input data, and this data contains some sales information, but also location information, so longitude, latitude, and city. And when we add in the function that we're going to call, so here we select the function that we registered, we will select the columns from the input data that we're going to use as inputs into the function, so latitude, longitude, date, and city, and our function will take these inputs and it will return some temperature and some precip precipitation information that we will then add to our data set and save in an output data set. So let's save and run this data flow. And while this data flow is running, let's go and have a look at the policy statements that allow the analytic service instance to use the functions. So here we are in OCI looking at policies and we're looking in the particular compartment where our functions are hosted. And we have a set of policies under OAC FNRP uh, that allow our service instance to use functions. So here you can see the request principle, so where that is equal to the OSID of our particular analytics instance, then we're allowing all users to use functions in the compartments OACPM. We're also allowing all users to use the storage buckets in the same compartment and to manage the objects in the storage bucket, in, and that is in a particular storage bucket. We also have a dynamic group that is actually for functions to be able to interact with that same storage bucket as well. Back on the data flow, what we can see is the data flow is now finished. And on the output, the function, and it is added the two columns, one on the temperature and one on the precipitation. And this is used as a resource principle connection when connecting to functions.